In Westfield, a unique program is redefining the way we look at kids with disabilities by giving them a chance to play sports like anyone else alongside their peers and regardless of ability. In the process, they learn that it's okay to be different. Steve Kiltonic has the story of the Unified Sports Program, which is creating a brighter future for kids with special needs. Steve Barubi remembers a day like it was yesterday. It was October 1995, a Thursday. He was coming home late from his job as a systems analyst at Mass Mutual in Springfield, traveling down State Street. A young group of kids, obviously they had been out drinking. Their light had turned from green to yellow to red. They didn't see me coming, so when I went through a green light, they drove through a red light and drove me right across the four lanes into the old law offices right across from the Civic Center. And I was stuck in the car for a couple hours. Uh, I broke my skull in a number of places. First from hitting my side of the side of the window and then against the building again. Since the near fatal accident, Steve's had three brain surgeries. He takes meds to keep seizures at bay and still suffers short-term memory loss. But for Steve, a parishioner of St. Mary in Westfield, his life changed dramatically for the better as well. He learned to appreciate life more, became more involved with his kids, volunteered, worried less. He also realized that God saved him for a special reason. The accident was almost like God giving me a gift. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a plan for everyone that he took me out that night because he knew that I could make an impact on other people's lives. Fast forward to 2003. Steve's youngest son, Sean, became friends with a boy in first grade that had Down syndrome. His name was Garrett. Kids were actually bullying the little boy with Downs. Sean is a pretty big, burly kid, and he stood in and got in a fight one day with the bulliers. It got Steve wondering, why are kids with disabilities treated so differently by their peers? He convinced Garrett's mother to let him play on a baseball team he coached at the Y. By the end of the year, he was actually playing baseball, and he was better than a number of the players on the team. Inspired by Garrett, Steve decided to offer other kids with special needs a chance. In 2006, he founded the Unified Sports Program, or USP. It's been his passion ever since. Our goal is social inclusion through sports. We want kids to realize that in society, just because you're different doesn't mean that you can't be fun to be with or spend time with. We've had kids in high school that did nothing their entire life, and then they start doing this, and their eyes open up, and they realize, oh my god, I can do that. USP offers a variety of sports to kids free of charge year-round. There's baseball, touch football, swimming, bowling, basketball, and sled hockey at Amelia Park. For the more adventurous, there's rock climbing and a ropes course held at Westfield State University. This also fun stuff. Trips to Boston to meet the stars of the Celtics in the Garden, as well as the Red Sox at Fenway. The ages of the kids range from 6 to 18, but some are as old as 24. Steve says age and ability doesn't matter. Anyone who shows up can join in. Events are also held at St. Mary's Parish, which is a big supporter of USP. The kids enter the program with a variety of special needs. Autism and Asperger's and Downs. We have kids that are blind, kids with hearing problems, kids that are simply developmentally delayed, kids that have social anxiety at school and they have to be put into special programs. It's basically anything. The special needs kids play side by side with their more typical peers. While there are many special needs families participating, Steve would like to see more typical kids get involved to level the playing field. Our goal is to get the word out to more families that don't have special needs kids so those kids learn that when they go to school, somebody like Garrett with Downs is just a kid. Joe Grasty looks forward to all the USP events. Joe's borderline Asperger's, kind of like in between autistic and Asperger's, uh, very high functioning. Grasty's noticed big changes in Joe over the three months since joining USP. This really has brought a lot of his character out, his social skills up to par in a very short period of time. This really makes me feel a lot more comfortable because he belongs. He's in something where everybody's the same and everybody treats him the same and he doesn't stand out and there's, you know, there's no rejection and no bullying. So it's really great. It, it really makes me feel a lot happier. How did you make it up there? Um, just climb. You make it sound so easy. It, it, it looks pretty tough to me. Nah, it's pretty easy. Roger, who's legally blind, made it to the top of the 40-foot wall six times. This is the best thing that has ever happened to us, really. Because usually children with disabilities, they're not allowed to participate in sports. Here, nobody cares. 
he's willing to try different things now. He's legally blind, but you wouldn't know it watching him climb that wall or even the rope climbing. He, it's like he has no fear anymore. He's more outgoing. Jonathan has some social related challenges. Fear. He has fear of doing a lot of this stuff, fear of heights fear of doing things in front of people and it seems to just be completely diminished with these activities. Robert F. Kennedy once said, some people see things as they are and ask why, but I dream things that never were and ask why not. In a similar fashion, the Unified Sports Program teaches kids that there are no disabilities, that there are no limitations, that one can achieve their dreams. The whole program is fantastic. It's just so inspirational and it's wonderful to see all the kids together and see them climbing and succeeding with each other and becoming more confident with themselves. That's what it's all about. Everyone cheers them on and everyone supports them and they get up to the top and they just beam. And it's just a good feeling for us knowing we were a part of that and you know we help them with their confidence. It's unlike anything I've ever done before. They have taught me more than my college classmates have. Alexandra organized the ropes course as well. I have to say that was definitely a turning point in my life. It just hit me and these kids were all so helpful and the teamwork and the growth among them was just unbelievable. For Steve, the answer to why he does what he does is simple. It's going to sound corny, but The Blues Brothers was one of my favorite movies and I'm on a mission from God. I get the joy that I used to get out of a lot of other things in my life, I get it out of these kids. And when I get the hugs and I'm surrounded by little kids that think I'm the greatest thing in the world, I put 50 hours a week in sometimes just for that. It's worth every, every second of it. And what is Steve's dream for the future of USP? If I live long enough, I'd love in 20 years to be alive and to, to see this all across the country. The Unified Sports Program is a winning combination for the kids, the parents, the volunteers, and for the entire community. Steve has our prayers that his mission from God continues to grow and make a difference in the lives of these unique kids who poise simply for the sheer joy of sport. For Real to Real, I'm Steve Kiltonic.